Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy Pookie here. Right, this is just a quick two second video if your heat bed has done this. The negative pin on your uh, plug for the heat bed that connects onto there burns out. All I've done, you can see the gaps down either side that I've dremeled out with the dremel. And what I'm going to do is on the bottom of this bud, uh, bed, there's a plus and a plus and a negative and a negative. So what I've done is I've just cut off my plus and negative wire and as you can see there with the negative I've split it into two. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to solder them directly straight to the black, uh, the two blacks on there and the two reds on there. The reason why it burns out is because it's there's too much power going to the bed and it can't cope with it. There is a second pin there and I don't know why they didn't utilise it. So this is just for any problems having any, this is just for anybody who's having any problems with the Perusa, the Annette A8, they're all pretty much the same printer. So once you've done that, you should even out to evenly distribute the uh, power load to the bed and you should be good to go. So as you can see here now, I've cut little wells inside there, a little channel. Because what as what you do is you have a problem if you sold these back down straight to the main bed here. Because the bed moves backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, it causes flex. So what I've done to combat this, well hopefully this should work, is we'll get that wire, we'll put it inside the well. And as you can see, it's a bit hard to do this with one hand. Pull that wire back a little bit, and then what we'll do, ah, motherfucker, cut myself. Nearly. Maybe not quite. There's enough to dig in though. <laughs> right, so as you can see, we got the wire. Run that down that channel. We'll solder it at the two points, which is there and there for the two negatives. The same for the two positives. We'll slide that up there. The, sorry, the red one. And we'll solder them in the same way. And then what I'll do is over this plug, I'm just gonna get a little bit of hot glue. So it'll secure that wire down that way. When you bend backwards and forwards, the flex of the wire will end up here rather than being over here and pulling back off the bed and getting a broke connection so that's pretty much the way i'm going to go with this this seems like the most logical way to keep them back down and stop it from bending so we'll give you a little update when it's finished so i've got them soldered down there now hopefully i should do the job i'm just going to go ahead and get the hot glue gun out now and just glue along the top of that clip so them wires don't come back out I think that's pretty much the job done, guys. So I've glued that now down now. Doesn't look the prettiest, but I'm reckoning that there will stop the common flex that happens with the bed because the flex is all on the wires here and all the OV solder joints here simply because we've drilled the channel in there. Well, um, Dremel to the channel in there and we just hot glued it so hopefully that should be a fix to your problems and you can crack on with your 3d printing if you've not got a glue gun with a 3d printer i really don't know what you're doing with your life pick a glue gun up they're about 10 15 quid worth every weight in fucking gold i hope this uh video helped you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always guys peace out